cholesterol and meat consumption often evoke concern and confusion among health-conscious individuals. The debate between the effects of red meat and white meat on cholesterol levels has been a topic of discussion for decades. Common misconceptions suggest that all meats are equally detrimental to cholesterol health, which is not entirely accurate. By understanding the facts, we can make better dietary choices. It's crucial to differentiate the myths from the scientific evidence. For years, red meat has been vilified as the primary bad actor in raising cholesterol, leading many to switch to white meat or plant-based alternatives. However, not all meats affect cholesterol levels in the same way, and some cuts of meat are healthier than others. This section aims to clarify these common misunderstandings. In recent years, scientific studies have provided new insights into how different types of meat affect our cholesterol levels. For instance, white meat, commonly represented by chicken and turkey, is often touted as a healthier alternative to red meat. However, the reality of their impact on cholesterol might be different than what is commonly believed. This essay will delve into these studies, particularly focusing on the work of Dr. Ronald Krauss. By the end of this read, you should have a clearer understanding of how different meats influence cholesterol and which types might be better for your health. This knowledge will empower you to make informed decisions about your diet, potentially improving your cholesterol levels and overall health. Section 2. Unveiling the Study Insights from Dr. Ronald Krauss Dr. Ronald Krauss, a renowned researcher in the field of lipidology, conducted a pivotal study that sheds light on the cholesterol effects of red and white meats. His research aimed to understand whether there is a significant difference in how these two types of meat influence blood cholesterol levels. The results of his study have been eye-opening for many in the medical and nutritional fields. The study involved a controlled feeding experiment where participants were divided into two groups, one consuming primarily red meat and the other white meat over a fixed period. Both groups consumed equal amounts of cholesterol and their diets were otherwise identical in terms of fat, fiber, and macronutrients. The findings revealed that both red and white meats had similar effects on raising LDL cholesterol levels, commonly known as bad cholesterol. These results were surprising to many who believed that white meat was significantly healthier in terms of cholesterol impact. Dr. Krauss's study suggests that the choice between red and white meat might not be as clear-cut when it comes to cholesterol. It also indicates that factors other than the type of meat might be more influential in managing cholesterol levels. Following this study, Dr. Krauss advised that individuals concerned about their cholesterol should consider the overall quality and preparation of the meat rather than simply choosing between red and white. His research emphasizes the importance of a holistic approach to diet and health, rather than focusing narrowly on one aspect. Section 3. Red Meat versus White Meat – A Nutritional Standoff When discussing the nutritional content of red and white meats, it's important to look beyond just cholesterol. Both types of meat offer valuable nutrients, but they also come with health considerations. Red meat, such as beef and lamb, is rich in iron, zinc, and vitamin B12, but is often higher in saturated fats, which can contribute to higher LDL cholesterol levels. On the other hand, white meat, like chicken and turkey, is generally lower in saturated fat and has been traditionally recommended for those trying to lower their cholesterol. However, as Dr. Krauss's study indicates, the effect on cholesterol levels between red and white meats is not drastically different when consumed as part of a balanced diet. This suggests that moderation and preparation methods are key. Moreover, how the meat is cooked and what it's served with plays a significant role in its health impacts. Grilled or baked meats without added fats are considerably healthier than meats cooked with additional fats or breading. Additionally, serving meat with high-fiber vegetables and whole grains can help mitigate some of the negative effects on cholesterol. Understanding these nuances can help individuals make more informed choices about including meat in their diets. It's not just about choosing between red or white meat, but also considering the overall dietary context in which the meat is consumed. Section 4. Practical Advice – Choosing Meats for Healthier Cholesterol Levels Given the complexities of how different meats affect cholesterol, how should one approach meat consumption for optimal health? First, it is advisable to look for lean cuts of meat. Whether red or white, choosing cuts with less visible fat can help reduce saturated fat intake. Examples include skinless chicken breasts or lean cuts of beef like sirloin. Second, consider the cooking method. 
Opt for grilling, broiling, or baking instead of frying. Cooking methods that require adding little to no extra fat contribute to a healthier diet and can help manage cholesterol levels. Also, be mindful of marinades and sauces, as they can add significant amounts of fat and calories. Third, balance is key. Including a variety of protein sources in your diet, such as fish, legumes, and nuts, along with meat, can provide a broader range of nutrients while managing fat and cholesterol intake. This variety not only contributes to a healthier diet, but also reduces the dietary boredom that can come from eating the same foods repeatedly. Lastly, remain informed and adaptable. As new research emerges, recommendations may evolve. Being open to adjusting your diet in response to the latest scientific findings is crucial for maintaining optimal health. By following these guidelines, individuals can enjoy a diverse and flavorful diet while keeping their cholesterol in check.